so the reason I wrote this book is because in real estate, most agents struggle with mindset. And quite frankly, mindset is 90% of what it takes to be successful. Now, there's a couple of chapters that are probably my favorite. One of them is on not being attached to the outcome. Now, I saw early on in our business when an agent had a deal go bad or they didn't get a listing or a client chose to do business with someone else, they would be destroyed. They would be out of the game for days or weeks. And I knew I could never afford to do that. I also knew in a negotiating dynamic that when you're attached, you really feel it in your gut. You really hold on tight, you're gripping, and you tend to say and do things that aren't conducive to trying to get the outcome you want. When you're not attached and you're simply committed to the outcome, you have a lot more power. You're not giving your power away to someone or something else. That's why this concept of not being attached to the outcome is so important. The other chapter that comes to mind is one that I write about not listening to your wants and don't wants. Now, what do I mean by that? We all have that self-talk in our head. As an agent, I knew a critical part of my day was doing my lead generation, my lead follow-up. And like everyone else, there were days where I didn't want to do it or didn't feel like doing it. So I'd have this thought, and I don't want to be doing this today, or I don't want to make another call. And it was a trigger for me to instantly come up with a, the next thought, which was, I don't listen to my wants and don't wants. I focus on my goals and I do the things I need to do to achieve my goals. So whenever those thoughts of, I don't want to do this, which unfortunately most people listen to, I trained my mind to not listen to those and simply keep doing the thing I need to do. And I did that because my goals were so important or important enough to where I wasn't willing to give in to what I felt like or didn't feel like. Those are just a couple of the chapters. When we talk about mindset, it is critical. Having some specific tactics that can help you build a stronger mindset will help you in your business and every other part of, of your life.